What's up guys, your boy Kothis, and I'm back at it again. So, the last video I put out was showing how to do everything. It's kind of like tips and tricks. This one's going to be a more advanced guide on how to fight individual enemies. And then at the end, we'll put it all together and fight them all again. So, this video may be a little bit longer, but I want to make sure that you understand how to flow through the game efficiently. I want you to be a sword master, right? You're on the path already. With my help, you can be there. Let's go ahead and dive into the video, guys. Okay, go ahead and jump into the techniques. Let's dive into the stone stance. Now, stone stance is great for breaking down people with what? Swords, right? Only swords is what this is good against. You can use it on everything, but swords is the best bet. So starting off, I told you to put the first two points into these, right? Why? Because this gives you a different combo, right? You get to do the little stab, right? You can do this to start a fight or you can use it to finish a fight. It's very, very good to do so. Now this increases stagger damage. This adds an extra combo to your piercing strikes. So you can do it three times. And then on top of that, you get faster heavy strikes. And this is how you break guard faster. All right, so going back into it, we're in a stance, right? So from here, you don't have to hold the button for a very long time. I see a lot of people doing this, they hold and release. You can quick prime it. So you just barely press down and look, it's already ready to go. See what I'm saying? Look, I'm just quick priming and it's already held. I don't have to sit there and hold the whole time, right? This is how you keep combo fluid. So tap, tap, quick prime, and then tap, tap. So, let's go try this on an enemy. Okay, we have an enemy, right? This man is using dual swords, so we have to be in the stone stance. So, first off, we can initiate with doing the quick prime, right? <laughs> I swear to God. This is perfect. In front of me are three Ronin. These are the hardest characters to fight in the game. They are very, very smart, right? So, let me roll back and talk a little bit more. Remember our combos. We can do the quick prime, right? We start the quick prime, right? Look how that steps. We step back. So when he puts his sword in a sheath, he's going to do an unparryable attack. So you have to side, watch. Side step to the right, do a light attack, and back off. That's what it's all about. Now when these guys come in, you have to throw your parries. It's better to try to parry instead of block, right? Because when you block, they eventually hit you like that. They, you can't, you have to parry. And if you go for a parry and you're just a little bit off, it's still gonna count as a block. So don't be afraid to go for parries. Parries work a little bit different in this game than other games I've played. Usually, I'm a Dark Souls guy. So you usually try to parry at the last second possible. In this, you can throw a parry early. So the way enemies are in this game is they have a very slow charge and then a fast attack. So you can start timing that. Everybody has pretty much the same timing. So this guy's gonna come in, he's got a slow charge. Quick parry, counts as a block. Quick parry, counts as a block. And then, see? So you just keep him off, you just keep rolling off. You little punk. Fuck out of here. I will back off, this dude's gonna do this right here. See, see is a sheath. Side step, light attack. Quick parry. Two heavy attacks. This guy's got the sheath. Side step. Back off. You play these guys like you do a duel. These guys are very, very good. Right? He's gonna come back in. He sheathed it. Side step. Light attack. Back off. Play it smart. Parry. Finish. Right? But we already see this guy's got his sword in a sheath. What do you do when they're a sheath and a sword? You sidestep to the right. Why? Because they swing left. So if you sidestep to the left, they're still gonna connect with you or they're gonna have a higher chance. Everybody's pretty much right hand in this and when they swipe out, it's gonna go to the left side of you. So look, you sheathed again. We're just gonna come up here and annoy him. What's up, dude? Sidestep, light attack, back off. All right, so now we can, he's walking in. Let's go ahead and quick prime and release. Look how that works. You can use that as a finisher. Even when they're about to do their heavy or unblockable, you can one shot these guys. 
All right, guys, now we're gonna go over the water stance. This is the shield breaker. Even the uh, combo itself is called shield breaker. Now, remember, you can quick prime instead of just holding, but this one, you can hold a little bit and let them walk in and then slam them. This is the only stance that I'll tell you to spam the button on, right? So our first point into it gives us an extra piece to the combo. Then we get the extra stagger damage. Then we get another piece to the combo and it swings five times. That's insane. And on top of that, you do more damage with it. So throwing off, right? Let me switch to it. So you can hold it, right? What I like to do is hold when they're walking towards me and I don't even release, right? I just hold until he releases because it gives me time for them to walk in and take. So you can quick prime it, right? Just a quick prime and then spam, right? You can spam that if you want. That's completely fine. That's how you're going to break people's shields down. There's not much to this one, right? It's pretty cut and dry. Somebody has a shield, you just go in, release, and then unload on them. That's all it is. Okay, here we go. We got somebody. I'm going to switch to my water stance. I'm going to watch what he does, right? Now, I can go ahead and hold and then release and then spam it, right? His shield's already broken. Look at him stagger. This is like one of the easiest things to use. Just back off again. Okay, he has fire. Never try to fight somebody with fire unless you're going to try to go stagger as quick as you can. Right? He staggered again. Don't block. Don't parry. Don't do anything when he has a fire on his weapon. I'll show you. I'm going to block. Do that. He catches you on fire regardless. So just give them some space when they have fire. I'm going to hold. He's going to walk into it. I'm going to release. See? Chill broken again. Now we can finish him if we want. This guy's terrible at the game it doesn't matter all right there's our quick parry again works just like a block yeah that works it just opens them up so if you want you can quick parry and it's going to turn them around and you can prime and then spam watch this quick parry prime and then spam all right look at that done water stance easy okay now we're moving on to wind stance now wind stance is one of my favorites it's very versatile you can use it on everybody the reason being is because it has a kick and the kick can break posture and or guard whatever you want to call it very fast and if it doesn't you just hold it and knock them off their ass so the first bit increases your kick so you can kick them further and add stagger damage second add stagger damage and third is crucial for this skill line you want to get to the third point as fast as you can. The reason being, you automatically parry when you're in mid combo. So you can be in mid swing, and if someone tries to attack you, it just counts as a parry. That's beautiful. Then this, you know, when you kick someone, you can knock them down, and when you knock them down, you can just run up, hit light attack, and finish them on the ground. Okay, so here's the combo. It's just triangle, 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 really? So it goes into the kick, right? Now, if you hold, triangle he goes in your kick and you can release it right hold it and he'll do it even if you don't release so what i like to do is run up to a target triangle hold kick and then rush and then light attack and finish him that's like you're gonna kill someone so fast or you can just run up if they're not paying attention you actually you can just run up let's say like this stone run up hold kick throw him. you don't have to hold that long remember quick prime release right he kicks him down finish him let's go find somebody okay we finally found a spearman dude it took me 40 minutes to find a group of people with one spearman in it so the beauty about the wind stance is i can go ahead and start hitting triangle right see how that parried right triangle parry right i'm not hitting parry i'm hitting triangle right i'm gonna hit triangle again parry that's the beauty about this stance the reason it does that is because of this right here this third ability, automatically parry spear attacks during wind stance, okay? Anytime you see someone with a spear, or a spear, you just hit triangle. So now we've, see, look at that. Now, anytime they dash at you because they're the most aggressive and most annoying person in the fucking game, sidestep and back off, right? Because they'll just keep doing it, right? They're so annoying. If you played this game, you know. They're not as hard as a Ronin, but they will annoy the hell out of you. But you can use that to your advantage, right? So a Spearman being extremely aggressive will pull him away from the group because he's going to chase you regardless. So now we got some distance between the group, right? And he has a lot of range on his attack, so it brings him further out. So we're going to let him do his initial attack, right? He hits us. Sidestep. 
Put him down. All right, we got a group of people. I'm going to show you another reason why the wind stance is so good. I'm just going to dive in on these guys. All right. One down. So, I'm going to prime. Kick. He's knocked off. See? Finish. All right. It's just heavy attack. Side step. Kick. Run up. Finish. Look how good that is, right? I can't. I don't have my headset on, so I can't hear. All right, let's go finish this guy. Always finish the archers, remember? All right. Dude comes up. Side steps. I'm priming. Right? I went to kick, but it parried for me. Finish. Look at this. Right? We're taking down a whole group. Oh, we got two shield guys. Let's see what this is. Whoop. Don't hit me, dude. Finish. All right? Big guy. Prime. Whoop. Kick again. Kick again. Just slow prime, right? Look at this. Look at this. Just kicking this guy to death. Wind stance, son. Right? Well, we're probably not going to kill him, but we'll finish him off with live attack. Wind stance is strong. You want to max this stance out. You can take down a whole group of people just kicking and finishing. All right, guys, now we're going to deal with Moon Stance. Moon Stance is very effective against Brutes and or Heavies. Now, starting off just like the rest of them, they all have the triple tap triangle for your combos, right? And they only get better. So right here, when you go to the second one down, it allows you to have the Whirlwind, right? The Whirlwind is you just hold and then spin and then tap it one more time and you spin again. Now, this increases stagger damage. We went over this. And then on the third strike, which if you just do your basic one, two, three combo, it does an overhead. That overhead hits really hard, really hard. So this is a very good point to put into. As you can see, it's smashing that dude. And then all this does is it adds another spin. So it turns it from a whirlwind to a tornado and you can spin three times. Now let's go over this. Normal combo, triangle, triangle, triangle. One, two, three, right? Overhead. Now that overhead, even though it looks slow, it's still gonna hit really hard because we've already put the point into it. Now. If you just quick prime, right? You spin and hit again and then hit it again. So you can put this together like this. Triangle, triangle, triangle. Hold, release, spam, spam, right? There, the second, the third spam then go off, but you see what I'm saying. All right, guys, we have three heavies, right? And these guys have the big boom sticks. Now they're different than other heavies. They're a little bit more annoying. So you want to keep your distance from them. Now, if they got the big boom sticks, what do you do? You get up close, right? It hits you. It's hard to dodge. Watch, I'll get up close again, try to roll backwards. It still connects. It has a massive hitbox. If you want to go up and dodge, where are they going? Where was, where are you, where are you going? Where are you, where are you going? Where are you doing? Okay. What the hell? If you want to get up and dodge, you have to get close. Side step. Wow, there are two many of them. That's another thing. If there are more than one and they have the big boomstick, right? One guy at least has big boomstick. You can make them bait in to shooting each other. Watch this shit. All right? This other guy will not shoot. For the love of God. There you go. See? You can make them shoot each other. So now we are using the moon stance. When he shoots, you come in. You hit triangle twice. This is going to be annoying. This is good, though. So this is how you deal with three. Let him shoot. I'm a prime. Release. All right. That's off of prime. And then finish him with a light attack. Back out. So that was just me holding triangle. Or priming triangle, not holding. It, right? But normally, let me work this guy down. Running attack. Okay. So now we have one big board. Come up, sidestep. Boom. Doesn't hit. Come up, sidestep. Doesn't hit. Come up, sidestep. Doesn't hit. All right? So. After he's done his shot, let's say like you you don't you don't you're not confident enough to go sidestep. So we're gonna make him shoot. Alright, let's go back off. Shot, rush immediately, press triangle, triangle, triangle. And he's dead. That's moonstones. Okay. Now we found a big old boy with a shield. This is one of the most common uh, heavies that you'll find. Alright? So when he has a shield, sidestep. They're pretty easy to deal with, right? He caught us. That's fine. So we're in moon stance. Roll back. Throw some kicks. Just triangle, triangle. Boom. Back off. Triangle. Posture. Broken. Now, 
We can hold triangle and do the spin. So that works. It still staggers him. Even when he was in his unparryable, it staggered him. So, once again, I'm getting running in the trees here. All right, he's going to come in, sidestep, triangle, triangle, quick prime, release, and then hit again. Done, All right? He's still alive, but he's done. Get out of here. Don't even try that shit. All right, moving on. All right, guys, one more thing I want to touch base on in this video is the Mythic Art Heavenly Strike. You get this very early in the game. You have to duel somebody to get it. It's a side quest that you can do. Make sure you do all the side quests that you can before progressing because the side quests make you extremely strong, okay? This is the reason why. You get a Mythic Combat Art. Now, this will burn one resolve as soon as you hit somebody, so make sure you use it more as a finisher than an opener. In early to mid game, you can use this as an opener and kill everybody. Uh, mid to late, you can still kill people with it pretty early, but some uh, classes that you come across very late game are very tanky and they take at least two hits of this to be able to put down. So what you wanna do is combo somebody first, right? Light attack and a heavy attack and then use it, right? You wanna at least put a couple hits on them before you use it. Always try to think about using it as a finisher. Now. Just using it as is will not burn resolve. It has to hit somebody, right? But you can just spam this over and over and over as long as you have resolve. All right, guys, now we're gonna go over Heavenly Strike. We got a pack of Ronin, so you can see how it is. I'm just gonna start off with it and show you, right? See how it didn't finish him? He's gonna come in, parry, and do it. Now he's down, right? Now that burned my resolve. See my resolve down there? This dude's gonna get cocky. He's gonna come in, partial parry, boom, right? And he's gonna do this. We're gonna sidestep, light attack, boom, heavenly strike. Now this dude's thinking about, damn. Oh, okay, he's brave. Here he comes. Here comes badass McGee. Sidestep, heavy, go through. You can do it again. Boom, done. Heavenly strike is god tier. All right, guys, we got a group of people, so let's throw everything together. We learn. First off, you always want to look for archers. Are there any archers? There are not. We're going to move around and see what they have. They all have swords except for one big man. So I'm going to switch and be funny. I'm going to switch to wind stance. All right? This dude's going to come in. Or kick to the moon. Or come up. We're going to finish him. There's one guy gone. All right? Switch down to stone stance. Because these little guys are going to push. All right? He's going to come in. We're going to parry. Prime heavy. Uh, he's down. All right? Now I'm gonna switch stances again. What we want? Let's do. Let's do. Uh, yeah, moon stance. Coming in on this guy. Triangle. 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 Right now his posture is broken. Now we can hold triangle. Spin. Right. Or roll out. And let's just do one more stance. Right. Guys gonna come in. Uh, I don't know what that was lag or something. A hold and then release. Right. He's gone. Easy. <laughs> You guys are going to be great. I know it. All right, guys, that sums it up. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and comment. It helps this channel out a lot. It helps me out a lot. Come visit me on Twitch. We can hang out. We can talk about different combat styles if you want. There's still a lot of other things I need to go over. I'm just trying to make sure that I can be as detailed as possible. First video I thought was you know decent. This one should be a little bit better, a little bit more descriptive. Uh, next couple of videos, I'll probably focus on stealth or a couple other things. There's all kinds of things to touch base with when it comes to combat on this game because the combat is beautiful. Anyways, you guys have a great day and I will see you in the future. Later guys.